Brother Ali has asked the question that can we drink non-alcoholic beer? As far as drinking intoxicants are concerned, it is clearly mentioned in the glorious Quran. In Surah Maida, chapter number 5, verse number 90, where Allah says, Ya ayyu al amanu, O you believe, inna mal khamru al maisuru, most certainly intoxicants and gambling. Wal ansabu al azamu, dedication of stones, divination of arrows, rishthum al shaitan, these are Satan's handiwork. First tanibu al kum tuflihun, abstain from this handiwork that you may prosper. So this verse of the Quran, Surah Maida, chapter 5, verse number 90, is very clear cut that any intoxicants, whether it be beer, whether it be alcohol, whether it be wine, any intoxicants, drugs, etc., it is prohibited. Now the question posed is that is non-alcoholic beer allowed in Islam? First let us understand what is a non-alcoholic beer. In non-alcoholic beer, when you read on the can, it does not show any content of alcohol. But how is it made? We have come to know that the non-alcoholic beer, it is made the same way as a normal beer is made, which contains alcohol, with malt, with barley, and they cook it. But in a non-alcoholic beer, what they do, they extract the alcohol by various different methodologies. For example, the boiling point of normal water is 100 degrees centigrade. But the boiling point of ethanol, ethanol is ethyl alcohol or drinking alcohol, also known as spirit, also known as alcohol. It is at a lower degree. It is at 70 degrees centigrade. So when you boil below 100, above 78 degrees, up to 80 degrees, this ethanol is extracted. It evaporates. The other method of removing is by the osmosis method. But all these methods that are used by the companies which make the non-alcoholic beer, it does not remove 100% of the alcohol. They remove 95% of the alcohol. Yet 5% remains in that drink. Because to remove 100% of the alcohol is very expensive and these companies cannot afford. And according to the rules and regulations of the Food and Drug Association USA, if the content is 0.5% and below, it need not be mentioned in the ingredients list on the can. So because the alcohol content in non-alcoholic beer is 0.5% or a little bit low, maybe 0.49 or 0.8%, they do not write in the can. But it does contain alcohol. Normally, it contains 0.5% alcohol or 0.49% alcohol. Because it contains 0.5% and less, by law, it need not be mentioned on the can, but it does contain alcohol. How did this come? This initially was first introduced in the early part of the 1900s, early part of the 20th century, when alcohol was banned in USA. So to circumvent, avoid the law, what they used to do, they used to make the beer and extract the alcohol out. The content was 0.5%, so legally it was allowed. That's how it started initially. And but naturally later on, when alcohol was permitted in USA, they have gone back to drinking normal wine, whiskey, alcohol. But yet there are some people who yet have this non-alcoholic beer or alcohol-free beer. But let me tell you that this non-alcoholic beer or alcohol-free beer does contain alcohol it contains 0.5% or 0.49%. The normal beer, it contains approximately 5% of alcohol. It is less than the other drinks like whiskey, wine, etc. So, if we analyze, non-alcoholic beer does contain a small percentage of alcohol. The taste is same as beer. The effect in terms of fizziness, etc. is the same. The feeling in the mouth is the same. So those who drink normal beer feel non-alcoholic beer is somewhat similar. And unfortunately, there are some Muslims who think that this non-alcoholic beer is permitted. And there are fatwa by some scholars who have said it's permitted, which is totally wrong. Because they may fail to understand in which type was this non-alcoholic beer made. And just because it does not mention on the can that alcohol is present, they think 
If no alcohol, that meat is permitted. But we have to realize that originally alcohol was there and alcohol was extracted and alcohol is yet there. Now when we come to know from the hadith of our beloved Prophet Muhammad that once when a sahaba, he asked the Prophet that along with the orphans we have inherited alcohol. So instead of throwing it away, can I convert it into vinegar? And the Prophet said, no, you throw it away. Now if it was permitted, surely the Prophet would have said that, why waste it? Convert into vinegar and have it. And especially if it's the property of the orphans, all the more reason the Prophet would have been careful. But because he said throw it away, that means once it contains alcohol, you cannot extract it and use it. So based on this hadith, it is very clear cut that once the drink contains alcohol, even if you extract the alcohol completely, you cannot have it. In this case, it is not extracted completely. So in the first case also it's haram, if it is extracted completely. In the second case, even though you extract it, yet it contains 0.5% alcohol. Now, if you compare to the effect of a normal beer, if you have one can of normal beer, it contains 5% alcohol. So, if you have 10 cans of non-alcoholic beer or alcohol-free beer, it will have the same effect as one can of normal beer. Or, if you have half a can of normal beer and have 5 cans of non-alcoholic beer, it will have the same effect. And a profit piece be upon him, is very clear. It's mentioned in a Sai Hadith of Ibn Majah, or in Mufo, Hadith number 3392, that our beloved Prophet Muhammad said that anything which intoxicates in a large quantity, it is also prohibited in a small quantity. So based on this Hadith, it is very clear cut that for a Muslim, having non-alcoholic beer is also prohibited. Number one, original alcohol, it is extracted. Number two, the complete alcohol is not extracted. So based on both of these evidences, it is very clear cut that a Muslim should not have non-alcoholic beer. Though the alcohol content is not mentioned on the can, it yet does contain alcohol, which if you have in large quantity, the non-alcoholic beer, it will have an intoxicating effect. Based on this, it is prohibited. Unfortunately, there are many Muslim countries, including many Gulf countries, where this is freely available and many Muslims think that it is permitted to have non-alcoholic beer. And once, when I was traveling in the plane, coming back from Saudi Arabia, after doing Umrah, there was a Muslim sitting next to me, and he was having beer. At the first instant, I thought he was not a Muslim. Maybe the non-Muslim having beer. But later on, he asked me to fill his immigration form. So when I read the immigration form, the name was Muhammad. So I asked him, you are a Muslim? He said, yes. Then how come you are having beer? He said, I have the same beer. He called it beer, even in Saudi Arabia. So there it's allowed, here also it's allowed. So that person being a labor class, he thinks that the beer he was having non-alcoholic in Saudi Arabia is allowed. So here it is the same, the taste is same. And he had it, it is ignorance. So. I would say that non-alcoholic beer is haram and I would really recommend that those which are Muslim majority countries where the haram products are not allowed, we should see to it that even this non-alcoholic beer is prohibited in these countries because it is not permitted for a Muslim to have non-alcoholic beer or alcohol-free beer because it does contain alcohol and in large quantity it will intoxicate you. Hope that answers the question.